Hello and welcome everyone. This is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how I kitbash new character creations together. Stay tuned. <laughs> So this is the character that I created using Daz Studio, obviously, and this is a kitbash character. And for those of you who have followed the channel for a while, you already know what I mean when I say kitbash. For those of you who are new, what I mean when I say kitbashing is the process of taking bits and pieces of existing 3D models and kind of mashing them together to create something new. And this is something that I really enjoy doing. I really like the challenge of seeing what I can come up with using other people's 3D content. And it's also a way to set yourself apart because Daz's library and other 3D content libraries are available to everyone. You, you don't want to be generic. So I almost never use a 3D model exactly as it is off the shelf. I always do something, even if it's just, even if it's just changing the color. So anyways, let's get back into this. Here's my character, and this is an evil scientist character, and I wanted him to be really kind of grotesque looking and off-putting, and I didn't want him to have any legs. So I'll show you the models that I used to build this once I finish rotating here, and I believe I have them open. So when I first started building this character, I, I didn't know that I was going to use all these models. This is just a process that happens through trial and error. I have stuff in my content library and I go from there. So I started with uh, Reptilian and don't mind the prices that you see here. That's not what I paid. Uh, Dad's recently had a sale with about 70% off, 70, 80% off, something ridiculous. So I took advantage of all that. So I started off with the Reptilian HD bundle. So I liked the look of this character. Um, I wanted my scientists to be kind of reptilian looking, so this just kind of made sense. I don't usually use Genesis 2, but this uh, this morph pack was only available for Genesis 2 mail, so that's what I used. So this, uh, I use this as well, the alien module. I also used Sci-Fi Medusa. I like this helmet a lot. Uh, I use the texture, one of the textures for the zombie for Genesis and Michael 4. And what else did I use? Uh, floating junk. I use this to mimic, to take the place of his legs. And this is another one, uh, Nerny's Greebles Parts and Pieces, but I haven't used this yet. I think I'm going to still customize the character after you see what I've done here. Uh, now, when I go back into Daz, you know, seasoned veterans will, will understand this. But for those who don't know, one of the most powerful things is just hiding things from the scene. And what I mean by that, I'll find floating junk here. So I, I hid the legs on the character. And the way you do that, here's my evil scientist. And if I scroll down, you'll see the right thigh. The eye is closed when I open it. Whoops. Then the legs appear. So it seems really simple, but this is a great way to kind of bash things together to make something new. When I loaded Floating Junk, it was really huge. I just made it smaller. The way you do that is if I select it here and then go to my Parameters tab, there should be an option for Scale. So yeah, see I scaled it down to 14.7%. When it loaded, it was at 100%. You know, way too big. But then I just scale it down to 14.7. Whoops, I changed the X scale. I need to change, uh, let's undo and undo. There we go. Just change the scale to 14.7. A anyways, I made it smaller so that it fit the character. And then it looks like he's kind of has this uh, portable floating device thing. Uh, I also hid some parts on that as well. I'll just hide the, the, the Genesis 2 male figure. And if I go here and I believe if I go to my surfaces tab, is that surfaces? Yeah, surfaces tool and then the surfaces tab. Editor, there we go. Uh, it's just a matter of changing the opacity. Now a shortcut that I like to do is I just type OP for opacity, and then all that shows is this. 
And then if I scroll down here, you'll see the ones, the surfaces that I turned off. Uh, so that I turned to 50%. What else did I do here? I know I hit some things on here. Okay, so for instance, the sale was on. I just turned it off. All right, that was there before. And then I turned that off, the sale parts. And then there was these containers at the front, which I also turned off. So I didn't do a lot of customization, but when you couple that with a character, you know, it, it looks like something new. Uh, I also use the helmet here. Let's see if I can find that. I'll right click on it. Select sci-fi helmet. There we go. And this had a lot of surfaces. And I'm not going to go through all this. That's too much stuff to go through. But, but anyways, I hid some things uh, so that only some of it was showing. The alien module, as you can see as I mouse over it, all of this appears here. That's really all that, that it is. But then I, I hid a lot of things as well. All right, so that big bulb thing, I, I hid that. And really, that's just the power of the services tab. And um, that's an integral part of, of kit bashing. So it's not a long video, but I just wanted to show you what's possible. So hopefully you can use this technique in your own character creations. Remember, it's just a matter of seeing what fits, experimenting, trying things. I know a lot of you have huge content libraries, so you have lots of stuff to choose from. And it's really a process of seeing a 3D model for what it can be and not necessarily for what it is. I know that sounds really abstract, but that's really how I kind of approach this process. I look at it and I know, like the, the floating junk, for instance, I know that it's a boat, but what else could it be? And by using that process, I can create new things. Uh, the next step for this character, because I don't think he's finished yet, uh, there's this here, Nernie's Greebles Parts and Pieces Volume 3. I did another video previously about Volume 2. I, I really like these products uh, by DZ Fire. This is a great way to kit bash and customize things even further. And just by going through and looking at some of the pieces in here, I, I like some of the shapes of these better. Like I like these fans and these look like engine type things. That could be a, a visor for a helmet. What else do we have? This could be a rocket launcher. These could be shoulder pads. It, you know, it's just a bunch of pieces, but when you use your imagination, you can turn it into something else. Oh, it's cool. This looks like gun turrets here. So you can weaponize something. Really neat stuff. So anyways, I think my next video will be how I use this product to further customize my evil scientist character here. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I'll leave links to the products that I used in the video description below so you can check those out. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. Please check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care and peace.